Apex Instruments encourages you to use or perform any maintenance on this equipment safely. In this video, we may show an icon that conveys a safety hazard or risk that is associated with the operations performed. Be mindful of inherent hazards such as pinch points, sharp objects, or shock injuries. Hey, I'm Joe Thompson with Apex Instruments Technical Service Group. I'm going to show you how to access and use your calibration table inside your XD502 software. In this video, we'll go over how to access and use your calibrations tab inside the XD502 console software. We'll start out by ensuring that the XD502 is powered on. In board versions 3.8 and prior, it is a requirement for your console to be powered on before you can connect to the data port. So once your console is powered on, you can connect a USB cable to the data port on the front of the console and into your laptop or PC. Once you've done this, you can click on the COM tab in the upper left portion of the screen. Next, you can click on USB to connect, and this may take a couple clicks to connect. You'll notice that the information has been pulled over from the software here in yellow, and this shows that you're now connected to the software. Now we can move over to the Utility tab. In the Utility tab, move your cursor in between Storage and Utility and click. Next, press Control and type Apex. Then release and press Enter. And you'll notice that the Calibrations tab is now available to enter. Click on the Calibrations tab and a new window will appear. You'll notice that thermocouples, vacuum, pressure transducers, dry gas meter, barometric pressure, and your serial numbers are listed. For thermocouples, you can use the calibrated reference thermometer to calibrate your thermocouple readings. You can go by the reference and add your desired offset by clicking on the plus or the minus. Your offset will ensure that your thermocouples are reading what your reference meter should be reading. You can also use a reference vacuum gauge to calibrate your vacuum. With nothing inserted into your sample inlet, you can click on the arrow here and get your zero reading for your vacuum. It captures the current value displayed here for zero. To get your span, you'll need to insert your reference vacuum gauge into the half inch sample inlet on your console. You'll then turn on the pump and open up your valves to get the maximum amount of vacuum possible. You'll then input the number on your reference vacuum gauge inside the box here and capture the value by clicking on the arrow here. This will capture your maximum vacuum value so you can get an accurate reading at your maximum level. You can change the units by clicking on the tab here as well. For your pressure transducers, it shows your block size and your band percent. This is for both your pedo, delta P, and orifice, delta H readings. Block size is the number of data points that are averaged by your pressure transducers. Each block is a quarter of a second, so for example, four blocks are one second. Averaging the pressure transducers allows more stable readings on your screen of your console, as well as in the software. Otherwise, the transducer may read a sporadic value that is too fast to read. For band percent, it starts a new averaging block if a value appears that is outside of the selected percentage. This is useful for when flow at a traverse point changes dramatically. As a tester, you don't want to wait four or five averaging blocks to start seeing true values. If the band percent is disabled by inputting the value as zero, it will never fall out of band and start a new averaging block. Band percent is the percent of transducer full scale. 
So for example, a band setting of 10% band of the 10 inch pressure transducer is one inch. For barometric pressure, we can use a reference barometer to add the correct offset as well. We'll do this so that our console reading matches what the reference barometer reads. For the dry gas meter, when you click enable here, you can insert your correct scaling factor and delta H sub at into the boxes here. You can also change the units if you need to. You can zero your dry gas meter by clicking the box here and then clicking on the zero DGM tab if you need to or clicking the box here if you need to hold a value for the dry gas meter. To access or change your serial numbers for your console or your dry gas meter, click the enable box here and it allows you to change these values if you need to. Once you're satisfied with all the data, you can click save to console to save all this information to the console itself. It's always recommended to save your calibration data to a separate file. So if you click on the save to file tab, it will allow you to save your calibration data to your computer or to a separate hard drive. If you ever need to load a file, you can click load from file here and it will allow you to import calibration data. This concludes the overview of the calibrations tab inside your XD502 software. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Thank you.